Hello and welcome to The Fix and today we're going to have a look at this Audi A6 V6 3.2 engine. The owner of the car said to me that the starter motor don't always start up the car. When you try and crank it, it just clicks. But I've been trying to start it a few times now and it's been starting up every time. I haven't been able to replicate the fault on it. So I don't know whether it's the relay or the wiring or that's, that's faulty. But he said to me to change the starter motor. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace the starter motor. So we'll end up, you know, changing the starter motor and then check if the fault ever comes back. If it does, then we'll have to investigate what it is. So let's get on with that now. Let's start off by jacking up the car. We're going to put a stand underneath it. Okay. I'm also going to leave the jack there. Take the wheel off. I think the starter motor is situated somewhere behind there. I think it's somewhere behind there. So I think I'm going to have to take this plate off and take the, yeah, I'll have to take the, the belly pan off and maybe this from here. So that's what we'll do next. Right, I'm going to take this belly pan off now. If you want to know how that comes off, you could watch my other video when I was servicing this car. It's got it in there, how I took this belly pan off. Right, now we've got to take off this um, inner wing. So it's a few torque screws. One off there. One there. It's got one here as well. One down here. Don't think I've got to take the whole thing off. I'll just try and bet. Oh no, there's another one here. You can't see it, it's almost camouflaged with all the dirt and everything. Now, if I just. Just, I think, fold that one up there. That should do the trick. Now we've got a bit of access for down there. Undo the battery terminal. You can see it's got all these paints and stuff in there. So there it is, the battery. If I just bend that up a little bit and just take off the, the negative terminal. Got to do this before you do any electrical work like we're going to remove the the cables off the starter motor and they're live so if i just disconnect the battery that's it and now we're safe to do that right first of all i'm going to remove this plate if you see this plate here this guard of the drive shaft drive shaft guard there's one of the allen key bolts there you could see it there just down the bottom okay one of the other ones is there the allen key and there's another one if you see just down there so i've got to undo them three of them and then take that plate off right now i'm going to undo that allen key bolt it's a six mil allen key make sure that's in there properly Sit. It's an awkward place, but with a flexi bit at the end, I like to take it off. Yeah. 
but I've got one of them off. All right, the other bolt is just in here. I think there's a, another one. Over here. Now I've had to use my quarter inch ratchet and I put the six mil Allen key on the end of it. And I'm just going to try and undo this now because the space is really tight. That's it, we've undone the last one with gate difficulties, but it's done it. So I've done this one, I put a piece of rubber glove in there so it keeps the Allen key in. We've managed to undo it now. I'll just take this plate off. It should be easier to get access to the back of the, the bolt on the start motor. It's got two bolts on it. All right, we've got to undo that bolt there. You can see that bolt, that's a 16 mil bolt, so I've got to undo that one now. That's one of the starter bolts, and I think one is underneath there, but from the other side. So let me undo that bolt first. Well, I've got to try to undo the snap. got to undo this bolt this bolt was really really tight so it's really hard and there's no space there so once we've taken this bolt out now this taken this bolt out of the back which is very very difficult to do it wasn't an easy job but it's done now so now we've got to take off this bolt on the front of the starter which seems to be a spline bolt. I've got to undo, this is a spline bolt for the starter. You can see I've got my spline on it. Now there, as you can see, I've got a spline bit on it, so I've got to undo that. It's tight also. It's very tight. It's undone a little bit. Gone loose now, finally. Start motor started to move. Everything 
is really tight and it's really awkward to get to but hopefully now until I've undone this this one I'm going to remove this uh, nut off this bracket now to move the pipes out of the way so I could get better access to that bolt. That's it now. I'm going to take this little bracket off and I'm going to put the pipes on the side a little bit. So that gives me a bit more access now to that bolt there. So I've got the spline in there now. Now let me just try and undo it again. Here's this. I've got the socket back on it. Or nearly. Now I'm going to do it. That's it. I've got to put the lip, uh, the quarter inch ratchet with a 10 mil socket on it. Slot it over there because it's got a bit more room to manoeuvre it. That's it, yeah, that's undoing it. It's doing it slowly, a bit at a time, but it is undoing. Okay, now I'm going to try and turn it a little bit by hand, because it's gone a bit loose now. Yeah, now nearly got the bolt out it's just a little bit because it's so awkward it's hard to get to but there we go just slide this underneath and pull this plug off the starter motor now I've got to undo this 13 mil bolt because that holds the cable to the starter motor. So I'm just going to put a 13 mil socket on there and I'm going to undo this nut now to take off the cable. Just undoing the rest of this nut now. That's it, I've got the nut off now. So I could just pull this cable off. There we are, we've got the cable off now, the starter. So the starter's ready to pull out now. All right, now after a big struggle, I managed to get the two bolts off. The spline bolt from this side and the other uh, 17, no, 16 mil bolt from the other side. That other bolt, was so difficult to take out, it doesn't actually show it in the video because I didn't record the whole time, but it took me absolutely ages to take that other bolt off, the one on the other side, the 16 mil bolt, and it was a big, big struggle. I'm glad that they're out now. Now let's see if I could take the start motor out without removing the alternator or every, anything like that and all this other stuff. The only thing we've undone is these pipes and just move them out of the way a little bit because I read somewhere that it said you have to take the alternator out and stuff to take the start motor out. So let's have a go. Through here. It's a bit tight there. Yes, wow, brilliant. Now we've got this starter motor out, here it is. After all that time we've taken it out. In terms of difficulty I would say that's way up there with that bolt in the back because there's no room at all and it's really like frustrating to get that bolt out because what it's like the bolt is between two gearbox fins like that so you can't get a spanner or anything in there. I had an offset spanner but that had too much play in it. So at the end I managed to get a 3 8 socket in there and undone it a little bit at a time and in the beginning it was really really tight so that one movement took ages to actually undo it once it clicked undone then slowly I, I undone it but now it's out so we're going to replace it with a new one Alright here's the new starter motor 
सा बोलो Well, I opened it up before to have a look. Now, let's compare them. Yeah, everything looks at the right angle. Yep, and the pin plug in there is the same. So, let's go and install this into the car now. Right, now I'm going to, before putting the starter in, I'm going to clean these bolts up. If you could see, there's corrosion in the bolts there. And that was another reason why I was a bit stiff to take them out. So... I just wire brush them all so that way I'll be able to tighten them by hand as much as I can it'll save a lot of time and if I get them in nearly all the way by hand then I could just nip them up at the end with the socket and that other spline boat okay that one's done so all I'm going to do now to spray a bit of WD on it. That's it. That's ready to go on. And now I'll just clean the other one, the spl spline boat. This one's not that bad, so just a little clean. And a bit of WD-40 on them, right? That's ready. Now we're ready to put the starter motor in. Okay, now I'm going to get this starter motor back in here. So let's see how we're going to do that. Uh, the bolt fell off there, so let me just take them off. Okay. That's, that's it. Okay. Now. I think it goes in there. So let me try and slide this bolt in now. Okay, this bolt. Okay, this bolt. to go in there okay now let's get the, the spline in there and I said there's very limited space and it's right at an awkward angle as well there's the spline fitted in there if I could just tighten it up a bit. It's gone in quite a bit. Now, so I think I'm going to have to use the ratchet on it. is turning in but just a little bit at a time because there's not much room to maneuver this ratchet around it just gets stuck Put it. 
because I've got to get the other bolt in. So I'll just slacken that off a little bit. That's it, it's still moving. So I'll leave that there and then we'll get the other bolt in on the other side. Okay, now I've got to put that bolt in here. Like that. And then just need to start a motor a bit. There. All right, now I'm going to put the socket on this bolt. I'm doing it all blind because you can't really see it. I'm just doing it by feeling my way to it. Let me just get this ratchet on it. It's a slow process. As I said, there's no room in there. Bring this ratchet on. Let me just take that back off. Put this on the ratchet first. this offset sparrow on it now and just trying to drive it in Yeah, so as you can see, I'm doing this up with this ratchet, this flexible ratchet bent all the way around because there's so much, there's only a little bit of space here. So it's taking ages to actually do this up, but it's getting there. Hopefully when we could do this one up fully, then I'll fasten this one up fully because I don't want to keep on coming backwards and forwards to here. Alright, now I'm going to tighten this up. <laughs> now this one's fully tightened. This side is done. You can see, it's fully fastened now. So now we could get on and finish the bolt on the other side, the spline bolt. Okay, now I'm going to finish off tightening this spline bolt on this side. The other side's done, the really difficult one on the other side, we've done it. Now I've just got to fasten this one up completely. So if I just use the 
a quarter inch ratchet in there for now just to get it on there Alright, that's all the way on now. I'm just going to use my 3 8 ratchet just to give it the final fastening. Okay. Now I have to get the 3 8 ratchets to give it the final fastening tightening up. Like that. This light. Okay, now I've got that in there. I can get it the final tightening. That's it, now that's fully tight as well. Now all we've got to do is plug the starter plug and the wire back in. So if I, first of all, get the wire and, oh, what's this? Yep, the wire goes on like that. Let me get the the nut and the bolt and the washers for it. Okay, I'm going to put the washer on first, then the spring washer. And then I've got to fasten the nut onto it. So even here, the angle's really bad because of the wires in the way. Okay, now I'm going to get thirteen mil socket on it on a quarter. Sorting that up, so I'll just put that in. Believe me, filming this in this kind of locations, like trying to get you a good view of it is a mission in itself okay that's done now now I've just got to plug in this plug so just make sure that that red tab is at the top like that and then got to just plug it in, in there Okay, that's all the way in now. That plug, that's done. Just, that's it. Okay, now I've got to just put these pipes back on. So I just put this bracket over there. A 10 mil nut.
Right now our starter motor is fitted and the pipes and everything are back in place so let's go and start up the car first connect up the battery I'm going to connect up the battery and then start up the car see if it starts if that starts then we put our plate back I've connected the battery back up now I just want to see if it starts up before I put the rest of the stuff back there we go the car started up so our starter motor is all working fine now now I've just got to put this drive shaft guard back in so it goes in you could see over down there that's where the bolt holes are yep so if I just put this back in Like that. Now to get the bolts in. Right, now I'm gonna I put one bolt in on that side just get this one in as I said the the space is so limited and it's really awkward to get to these so I'm just gonna put this one on hand tightly as much as I can Okay, that one's on now I've just got one last bolt to put in up there before I to tighten them up so let me see if I could get to this one as well Got that one on a few turns, so let me just get the, the extension and the allen key and I'll just tighten them up. Okay, I've tightened up the other two bolts. I'm just tightening up this this last, last one there. You can see. Now, that's tight so I just pull that out of there okay that's out now so all of our three allen key bolts have been fastened in and we finished the starter motor installment okay now that we've finished um, putting back the plates and everything and the starter motor has been fitted in I wouldn't like to do one of these anytime soon again because it was a mission believe me because there was a big lack of space and you know getting to stuff was very difficult but now it's been fitted in and hopefully that was the fault because I didn't test it out before the the, the owner actually said to me that you know sometimes the starter would click and it wouldn't start so hopefully it was the starter motor if it's not we're going to find out later on if it's the relay or the wiring and we'll have to check that out or the ignition or something but for now it's done I'm just going to put back the wheel arch and the undercarriage and if you enjoyed the video 
and if you haven't already done please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon so you could get all the future videos of the fix and remember don't jinx it fix it